There are seven signs that God wants you to be single right now in your life. I know your feelings tell you otherwise. I know your friends tell you otherwise. I know you feel like you need a relationship right now and you need a woman or you need a guy and you just so badly want a relationship. These are seven signs that God wants to tell you right now and God wants to reveal to you as to why you're in the place you are and why it's actually a good thing that you're single. Again, if you're not single, these things are still good to go through, to walk through. If you're in a dating relationship, these things are still good so that you can know who you're supposed to be before you get married. And if you are married, this video is really not for you. When God called two to become one and they both become one flesh, no, you never leave that covenant. You know, 50% of marriages, I believe, end in divorces. And that is one of the saddest things possible because God did not give us divorce to just be an opt-out option and just make everything what we want it to be. No, divorce is something really unfortunate and really sad. Once you are married, once you are committed, once two flesh become one, that is literally a part of who you are. Number one, are you actually ready for marriage? I know, and this is the, these are the things, the seven things that I'm going to tell you about marriage and sex and all these things are things I wish I would have known at a young, very young earlier age because I've been through some experiences and I've learned through some things that have really taught me a lot when it comes to this, how your relationship with God, how your life is affected from a relationship. And so on this step number one, are you actually ready for marriage? If you are not ready to marry someone, you don't want to be entering a relationship because when you enter a relationship, you will have the desire to have sex with the other person. You will have all the romantic feelings. You will want to be with that person, right? You'll have all the feelings without the commitment and without even the ability to have the commitment to marry them. Here's the thing about sex. I'm not making another video just telling you not to have sex and that you just shouldn't even think about sex and you just should never even think that it's even a possible thing. I'm not I'm not telling you that. I will tell you it's natural that you want to have sex. You're a human being, okay? It's I'm, I'm glad you're a straight human being who wants to have sex. That's not bad. The thing is though, sex demands commitment. Sex is a really big deal. Sex is when you become sticky to that other person. And the only time that you can actually trust someone with sex. The only time that you can give yourself away is when you are married. It'd be like a million dollars in your bank account right now. Would you give a million dollars to a random stranger? Or would you even give a million dollars to just a random friend? No. The only person that really is deserving of that part of who you are, of your sex, is your spouse. Way to know whether or not you're ready for marriage. Also, if you're in middle school, if you're honestly also in high school, you're, if you were to ask yourself the question, can I be married? You would obviously know that the answer is no. And even if you're in college, I know a lot of people people are in college, they're focused on like doctor degrees or like they're really focused on their career. If you're so focused on your career and you're so focused on what you need to get the job done, don't go around dating people. You're just playing games with yourself because once the feelings get involved, you'll want to sleep with the person, but then you know you don't have the time to commit to marry them. So you're committed to the benefits of a relationship, but you're not actually willing to pay the price. That brings me into step number two, and that's time management. Listen, the, the sign that God is okay with you being single, the sign that God has you in the time of singleness right right now is because he wants you to learn how to manage your time. Also, I'll clarify these signs that I'm giving you. These things aren't like telling you that you have to be single for the rest of your life. Actually, these are things that you need to prepare for. These are things that you need to adjust in your life. And whether or not you get in a relationship in the future, you still need to have these things figured out right now so that you could be in the healthiest place in your life. You know, too many times we blame things on God. People say, oh, well, you know, there's, there's some people who actually God wants you to have a relationship right now, but you haven't been listening to him. And you almost every single person desires a relationship, right? Human beings desire sex. Human beings desire to be with someone, but that doesn't mean it automatically happens. You have to take the right steps. You have to get ready. I can't emphasize this enough. Preparation is never wasted time. Myself, all the past relationships that I've been in, I wish I would have actually taken time to get ready. I wish I would have been in a better, healthy place. You know, even there was one relationship that I've been in in my past where it kind of came out of trauma and it, it wasn't really a relationship that I should have been. I wasn't really being led by the spirit of God. I was more just being led by a tough thing that happened to me that the girl was there for me when a tough thing happened to me and then it just so happened to be, right? And so we don't want to be led into relationships just because, of an, just because of an experience or because even of how someone looks. We want to be led into relationships when we're led by the Spirit of God. Now, obviously, you better be attracted to the girl. You better be attracted to that person. But you want to be led by the Spirit of God, not just feelings, not just emotions. Because feelings and emotions will come and go, but love stays the same forever. And step number two, one of these signs is your time management. If you're spending all your time on your job or your work or your school, and you don't even have time with your friends, you don't even have time of capacity to really sit down with a girl and just talk to her, just get to know her and dedicate that time, you're not ready. Now, 
Again, I, I'm going to emphasize this. These signs are not telling you like that you should just be single for the rest of your life. These signs are telling you that the season of life that you are in currently is a short amount of time that you need to get ready for the next season. You need to do and accomplish these things and get the job done now so that you can be ready to be married. You don't want to be dating a girl if you can't marry her. If you can't, if you can't even have the ability to be committed in that type of relationship, you don't want to play around with the feelings of a relationship. You're just teasing yourself. Step number three, value yourself. There are so many women who I have seen, they don't even value themselves. They feel like they need to show their bodies to get more guys, or they feel like they need to show their bodies to get a guy's attention. Listen, if you're a girl watching this video, you do not also to guys, you do not need to show your body to get someone's attention for them to like you. Someone shouldn't just like you for your body. Now, that being said, you should be healthy. You should be working out. You should be looking good. Okay. I'm tired of all these lazy people. Like don't be lazy sitting on your couch and then think that you're going to get a good looking girl. Like what? I, you're tripping. You, like obviously we're work out, but you don't just want someone to like you just because of how you look. You want someone to like you because of who you are, because of your person inside and out, right? And so you've got to value yourself. So how are you dressing? How are you living? How are you looking at other girls? If you're a guy watching this, how are you looking at girls? If you value yourself, you, and so that brings us to step number four or sign number four, if you value yourself, you will value others. What I mean when I say that is you will not look at a girl just thinking about the things you can get out of her, just thinking about the sex you can have with her or the less, no, th no, that's darkness. When you see a girl, you should see her as the daughter of God. You should value her. You should you should be able to be kind to her and not receive anything in recipro reciprocity. I can't say that word. Not receive anything in return for your love that you have for her. You just love people. Also, you got to be able to be somewhat friends, uh, if possible, before you necessarily are boyfriend and girlfriend, right? You got to get to know them first. And that can be done through like going on official dates. But for many of you young people out there who's who are in high school, middle school, I'm just telling you right now, it's okay that you're single. And I know you have feelings that you don't want to be single anymore. Listen, get over those feelings. You're going to be just fine. You need to graduate first. You need to be 18 first. And again, this isn't like me saying, if you love God, you won't date until you're 18. I'm not giving you a rule. I'm not giving you a law. I'm just telling you it's the healthiest thing because I'm so thankful when I was in high school, I didn't have any relationships and I'm so thankful. I was able to be the valedictorian of my high school and the senior football captain. And I was able to get enough money so that I could buy my car that I could still have and went to Bible college debt free and then graduated. And now I do YouTube full time and it's great. But I'm saying all this because I didn't have a relationship in high school. If I had a relationship in high school, I wouldn't be able to be as successful because I would have been distracted. Also, my relationship in high school wouldn't have really carried on because I moved a thousand miles. And the relationships now that you currently have, like the romance you currently have, you think it will carry on. But like the odds of it actually carrying on are pretty slim. Also, even if that person is the one, even if that girl is the one that you're supposed to marry after you graduate, after you turn 18, after you get a, get a job, after you pass all these tests, right? Then you should be okay with just being friends right now. And you should be okay with the commitment of just being a friend. And if you know she's the one, even if God is leading you to tell you that she's the one, you should be committed to her enough as a friend and not talking to other girls, but you don't have to enter into a dating relationship prematurely. And that brings us to step number four. When it comes to valuing others, be able to be people's friend without anything in return, without needing to needing them to post you, without needing to needing to get a bunch of attention for dating that single singular person. No, just be okay with being their friend. Invest in who they are as a person. Um, five, you've got to value your own family. How can you expect to have to create a family. If you don't even value the family you have now, honor your parents, honor your father, honor your mother, your siblings, be nice to them, love them, do the dishes, stay clean, get the job done. Uh, guys out there, uh, if you're being honest with yourself, you know how dirty we can be, right? Well, I hold myself accountable. I look at my apartment sometimes and I'm like, oh, if, if my girlfriend were here right now, would she approve of this? And I'm like, okay, I have her on my mind. Even though she lives a thousand miles away and she lives in Alabama, I'm really up to you guys. I have an amazing relationship. It's a really healthy relationship. I met her on Instagram. She has an online ministry that she does and I surprised her. I'll show you guys a photo and it was really fun. We just put the Lord first. We did a ton of Bible studies, went to church together. It's really amazing. Um, don't worry. You'll see a lot more of her in the future. She's really awesome. I could make a whole videos about her, but anyways, I'm going to keep going on because this video is for you right now. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you her name because I, I want to, I want you guys to guess because you'll know who she is when you see her. And with valuing family, are you actually spending your time and honoring your parents? Um, and then step number six, are you being faithful? Faithfulness is not just a checkbox. Faithfulness is not just a, oh, let me uh, not talk to other girls because I have to not talk to other girls if I'm talking to one girl. No, when you are faithful, 
you don't have the desire to talk romantically to other women. I obviously like you have to say hi, hello to, you know, girls and guys on the earth. I'm not, when I say talk, I mean romantically. Okay. So when you're faithful, it's because you want to, I so love my girlfriend that I don't even think of talking romantically to another girl. I'm not sitting on my couch saying to myself, I have to talk to just one girl. I have to be faithful. No, I get to be faithful. I get to be committed. That's why it's important to date is because it's kind of like the testing, like to see if the person will be committed, right? And if you're dating someone and they're not valuing you, they're not, they're not setting themselves clear in their intentions with you. You should also always clearly communicate the things that you think, the things that in which you're going. And again, if you walk yourself through these things and you do pass every single check, if you pass every single sign that uh, you are ready, that you have prepared yourself, that you do value yourself and you value others and you're faithful. Finally, step number seven, don't go until the Holy Spirit says go. We all have feelings. We all want to have sex. We all want to have relationships, but that doesn't mean that we should go. No. Again, I want to clarify. Sex is only valued in marriage. Sex is way too valuable of a thing to just give away to any singular person. And that's what happens with just dating relationships. Too many times we get into sex and it hurts us. It is like ripping a part of us from the inside out. And then it's just leaving it with a person that isn't committed to us. Back to step number seven. But one of these signs that, that God wants you to be single is if you haven't yet heard the go, if you haven't yet had the green light, don't go. Don't just try to go and do things all out on your own and then just make God agree with you later on. No, instead, you've got to wait for the green light. And the Bible says that we are led by the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God leads us with, leads us with life and peace. And when He is leading us, we have the full green light. It's the full confidence. You know, when I started dating my current girlfriend, I just had a peace about it. Now, in my flesh, in my mind, I was like, oh, am I like... Do I like, am I like really ready to date a girl again? Cause I did go through a breakup earlier this year and I was like, am I, am I ready to date a girl again? But then just down on the deep side, on the inside of my heart, I just knew that that she's the one. I, I knew the Holy Spirit was leading me to her, right? And so I followed that green light and it has been amazing. It's been fruitful. Also, I'll get into another video. Like when you're in a relationship, you you'd never want to be pulled away from God. And the relationship that I'm currently in, we run to God together. And that's what it's all about because marriage is covenant. You got to have a teammate that will run to God as fast as you are running. Don't be discouraged by these videos. If you've understood now that you're maybe you're not ready, please don't be discouraged. Don't just date because your friends are dating or because you see some cute couple on Instagram. You only want to go when God says go, especially if you're in school and even in college, you need to get the degree. You need to actually get the job done. Actually, I don't suggest many of you go to college. No, you actually just figure out the job that you want to do and go get it done. You don't need to go to college. Um, but once you're in school, in high school, middle school, please don't date. Don't waste your time. It's a distraction. Get the job done. Get prepared yourself and do everything that God has called you to do first. Be healthy, be happy, be joyful and peaceful. Be satisfied in the Lord first. Because also, if you're not satisfied in the Lord and you just need a girl so bad to be happy, then when you get that, when you get with that girl, you're going to be so desperate and so needy and so clingy. It's just going to be nasty. You don't want to do that. You never want to date someone that just so needs you to be their savior. No, you find your faith in Jesus. Christ and you are fully satisfied in Christ. Then when you come together with someone, it's just, you're like, you're not needing each other. You're both coming together and just working for the Lord and changing the world. Many of you haven't hit that subscribe button. Be sure to do that right now. And I have a huge favor to ask of you. Will you hit the like button for me? If you do that, more people will literally hear about Jesus Christ. The YouTube algorithm will push this video out to more people. If you hit that like button, thank you for doing that. And finally, I want to say, you know, the Bible says that uh, out of a generous heart, we give. And the Bible says when we sow uh, generously, we really reap generously back in return. What that means is when you guys find something or find somewhere that spreads the gospel and when you give to someone or a ministry or a church, wherever it is that you give, you can understand that God will give back to you and he will bless you. And I would just want to say thank you to everybody that chooses to give to this channel. It's a ministry. I don't do this channel to make money for myself. I don't do this to just make myself better. I literally am doing this just to spread the gospel. And you guys helped me get the job done. Obviously, you see this really cool studio. I was able to get it because of you guys. And now I'm upgrading with more videos and more content. We're just going to keep upgrading and upgrading. And it's because of you guys. If you want to help me keep upgrading and you want to help reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ, click the link down in the description below to choose to donate. Everybody that donates on that gaypro.locals.com. I also do Zooms with you. I meet you. I pray with you and exclusive Bible studies. So be sure to click that link down in the description below. Peace out.